organic athlete. He's having little critters coming to visit you. Bad training. Bad guy training. And the cane turned him out. What? So I'm just coming to a dude. <laughs> Any training tips for today? Okay. So yeah, start of a ride today. Just uh, warming up, riding for a nice little rainforest section. Check it out. Nice roads, nice, you know, strong climbs, get you fit, build conditioning, <laughs> get a sweat, and uh, yeah, so it's good, you know, just start the ride. Might, we'll see how we go today, see how far we go. But it's just beautiful fresh air, just getting that lymphatic system pumping, it's great. <laughs> Every uphill is followed by a downhill. <laughs> so yeah, get a cool down, warm up, cool down, warm up, cool down, warm up, cool down. It's good man, it's just like life, you know. Tough hills end, but tough people don't. in Belgium I was doing a bit of racing over there and uh, horse meat's really big in Belgium <laughs> and the, my, my teammates would go oh you want some horse steak I said nah no thanks and they're like uh, what's the matter like yeah haven't you ever had a horse before and it's like no I haven't and actually I'm a vegan I don't even eat dead animals you know um, raw cooked or otherwise you know, for me dead animals it's not human food yeah, besides animals and my friends, here we go, we've got another little buddy over here, you know. Get a bit of water on your face, buddy. <laughs> Love how horses sniff. This one sniffing my armpit. A little sniffy. <laughs> so people out there, some people are going, you need to eat meat, you need to eat raw horse meat, because that's what the natives ate. It's like, <laughs> go back to your freak show circus. Chew your food well. <laughs> Can you imagine if... <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Um, you know, a lot of people out there saying you should eat raw meat. Okay, fair enough. Imagine if I killed one of these beautiful creatures and just started like, you know, I'd have to use a knife because, you know, humans aren't designed to kill animals. We need to use knives to rip them open. My hands just couldn't do it simply. So I'm, I, there's all these horses that are dead. I've killed them all, and I'm sitting there ripping out their organs. And the owners come up, and they say, uh, "What are you doing, mate?" I said, "Oh, I read a book called We Want to Live by Arginus von der Planets, and, and he said like horse meat's good, like you know, it's good. I'm just getting some protein because I'm on a primal diet. You heard of a primal diet? You know, man, how how would that go down, man? Even my friends who eat raw steaks in public, people walk past going, okay. So at Santos Health Foods in Byron Bay, what a cool painting. Some grapes. That's what we're having. Just having a kickback. We've done about 80 k's and uh, just cruising. Carbs. This is a good book I've just been reading. It's picked up from a friend's place. World Peace Diet by Will Tuttle. Really good book to read. And uh, I've got to drop this book back to the library. Body's many cries for water. So, what sort of person rides a, you know, 80 k's to drop off a uh, Nova Jew library book? <laughs> Amazing. Any excuse for a ride, eh? So, 157k. Do another hour and I'll be home. But, there's all the deforestation just for, uh, Three, four, four grass-fed cows. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? That's like a. They shoot them through there. It's like a Nazi camp. Incredible, isn't it? Like people say, you need to eat meat, and uh, 
got to eat grass food because it's more... Look at, they're, they're running away from me. Look at that. Mum and her babies. And what we're going to do is we'll feed them up. Drug them up. Maybe not because they're organic. And, uh... Insane, isn't it? We'll feed them up, drug them up. Separate them from mum. I'm having a hard time verbalising the insanity, the cruelty, the environmental destruction, the health destruction, all the cholesterol and stuff. There's people out there saying you need to eat grass-fed beef because it's good in saturated fat. It's good in saturated fat. Too much saturated fat gives you heart disease, you know. It's incredible. People saying out there in your health movement, eat more fat. It's like, do you know anyone with a fat deficiency? I don't know. I walk around and... Uh, I don't see many people with fat deficiencies. Uh, someone said to me the other day, Harley, uh, there's so much diabetes in Australia because everybody's eating a low-fat diet. <laughs> I'm just like, hang on, did you say low-fat diet? He's like, yeah. And the funny thing was, this guy, nice guy in that, sincere but just sincerely wrong, he had a big beer belly, a big gut. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, there's a fat guy telling me that people aren't eating enough fat. And I've just ridden 170-odd kilometres on fruits and, you know, sugarcane juice, and I'm like, I don't know. Interesting. Look at that. This is an example of an organic farm that has traded cows for trees. Mangoes. That's what it was, and that's what it is now. Abundance. Abundance, man. <laughs> Mango time. You know, I love being fit. I love being healthy and fit, you know? It's like, I'm not using any drugs today to, to do my ride. Done almost seven hours now. <laughs> I feel good. So I'm doing good by my body. I haven't had a cup of coffee for 11 years. I do 24 hour races without any stimulants. And uh, it just feels good, man. Like, I get home now, have big feet of bananas and uh, wake up tomorrow and go for a run and not be like thrashing my adrenal system because I'm using cacao or stimulants or things like that you know look at this setting man this is why I love riding a bike look at that freaking magical magical I always, people say, do you wake up and just want to jump on the bike? And it's like, sometimes. But most of the time, you get the joy when you're out there, you know. The motivation comes when you're out there, rather than before, you know. I say satisfaction can come, sometimes come during, like it is now. But it always comes after. You always get that satisfaction after completion. If you wait to feel motivation, well, if you wait to feel motivation, then, you know, you won't get much done in your life. But if you just go out there and do it at a pace you can just, you know, maintain, just realistic, then you can do just about anything, you know, if you put your mind to it. This is incredible. See all these trees behind me? This is why I'm a big fruit promoter, you know, trees, there's some birds, there's a car. So yeah, this is great, man. I'm about to hit some really steep hills on the way back just to finish off a nice ride. That's what I love. <laughs> Energy drink. Oh, can you zoom on that again? Vitamin B12? What? You know, energy drink. <laughs> so, hang on. People were so fatigued, they're driving their cars and they need energy drinks. And then they just chuck them out the window. Uh, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm missing something, I don't know, but I'll, uh, this is...